Live from the beating heart of business, New York City, this is Squawk Box. Still to come, uh, tennis goes uh, high tech. The U.S. Open will be featuring smart courts uh, for players. A closer look at the technology is straight ahead. Uh, check out the futures at this hour. Yeah. Tennis is going high tech as you walk the grounds of the Billie Jean King National Tennis Center at this year's U.S. Open, which, as you probably, maybe, maybe you don't know, but it starts Monday. You may notice two smart courts. These courts are rigged with multiple cameras to capture and help analyze a player's on-court game. Uh, this is courtesy of the tech company PlaySight. And for more on this technology, let's bring in Paul Anacone, as a former pro tennis player who later coached uh, tennis legends uh, Pete Sampras taught Pete Sampras everything he knows, and then, uh, and then, uh, but only really only about ten percent of what you know. You exactly. Him. And also Roger Federer, he is now the co-head uh, of coaching and player development for PlaySight. Uh, Yuval Bar Yosef is PlaySight's uh, co-founder. Uh, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having us. Morning. I watch their, their games. I need the uh, someone to analyze. I don't know if I need to analyze any more than it is. So what, what, <laughs> but they're so so good. They hit it so hard, and you know they move. What I can't believe is this shit. I see shots that I know I'm not going to get. So why should I even try? And this is my wife that, that's hitting them. So right. I, I, how do they move across the court like that? And what can I learn from the smart court? Well, I think the big difference we're bringing in is, is that we're, by, by tracking what the players are doing, we can help you figure out not only what you're doing, but what kind of mistakes you're making and what needs to be done to fix them. So we're helping players of all different uh, groups and ages, recreational as well as professionals, to analyze their game on the court and after the court and just become a better player faster and, and on the way have some fun and excitement. Does it help to be on the balls of your feet Paul, instead of, I just sort of sit on my haunches on my heels. Maybe that, that might be one of the problems. I see people moving around quickly. You need to anticipate where the shot's going, I think. Absolutely. Right? You gotta be in the balls of your feet to keep moving and, and uh, just to be ready to react and, and to get in good position. A lot of work. And, and one of the things that's been amazing about PlaySight for my journey, the education um, through the technology stuff, as you've all mentioned, was the ability to help so many different levels of play. You know, you can have really simplistic themes to help beginners. You have more advanced themes that I would use coaching pro players. And in the middle, you have good club players. So you can do a lot with the technology to help your level. So what does this device cost? And what does it cost as a consumer of it, if I wanted to have a lesson with it, if you will? It's a good question, because when we started off, the model was not to go only to the top 100 players. The idea was to go to club market and really the mass market. So we really kept it affordable. The price is to get the system in, into your facility is $10,000 per court and running charges around 5000 per year. If you break it down, it's about $13 a day. That's what you need to make to really have an ROI on it. And so if I owned a court, which I don't, but if I did <laughs> and I was... You don't own a yard. And if I w and you, no, but no. then you call me up and I come over and I help you with it all. That's all. Right. No, but my my question is, how much are people char Is it an upcharge or is it an attraction to take a lesson at a particular court? We've seen all different types of you know uh, creative solutions from uh, charging up a, a lesson, from just adding it to the whole membership. Some clubs just decide to add it as as an add-on, right. like anything else. But with everyone holding one of these in their hands, I mean, how much more sophisticated can the average player's game get by watching something that comes from PlaySight rather than just having someone record what they're doing. Right? Well, it's great that you actually have that because we have an app that can go right on the phone there and then you can go <laughs> back. Go. Yeah, since it's a cloud-based uh, informational technology unit, you can go back and stream what you've done. You can punch it up on your phone, on your smartphone or on your tablet and you can go through stuff after the fact. What I love from a teaching and coaching technology is it gives you the ability to put kind of the whys behind right. the numbers. You know, for me to say one thing is really good, but then to back it up with some numbers and video is, is there tremendous. There are a couple rackets now that they put chips in the rackets. Yeah. Mm. Is any of that integrated with this yet? We plan to do a lot of integration, but definitely there's a huge wave of technology coming in with sensors, wearables, uh, wristbands, and a lot of stuff coming on, and we're actually you know, sharing that wave. Do, do you guess. need a coach to help you? <clears throat> wait, wait a second, be careful now. Don't get me out of my, my profession. You gotta be careful, okay. don't <laughs> no, no, just, do you? Need, do you need a coach to help you interpret what you're learning from PlaySight, or can you do it on your own? The system is very friendly, and it's really used by, by players by themselves, but also with coaches. So I guess the answer is that it would help the recreational player. But if you have a coach around, it will definitely help you understand the numbers better and, and break it down better to improve yourself. I, I notice it helps to 
step into the ball, like leaning forward. Why am I always going backwards as I'm trying to get to the ball? And that stepping in is that's that's an old philosophy. I thought you're, you don't have to step in anymore. It actually won't it won't step in for you, but it'll it'll when help I, you. When I get to the ball, I'm I'm running for the ball going that way, and I'm weakly trying to hit it back over the net. Am I doing something? Am I not fast enough? It, it's about it's about reaction and repetition, and and that's why again, you know, for me to sit here as a coach and say do this, do that, it's one thing to hear it, but to then be able to go back and just to go through a recording of what you've just done. You can see your reaction time. You can see what's happened not good. that will help you. Well, we can improve that. It'll help you get better at it, help you get in good core, petition, uh, core, core position. Okay. okay. I, I don't even know why I talk. <laughs> I don't know why I play. Anyway, you all, thank you, Paul. Uh, thank you, and we thank look forward to, uh, to Monday. Thanks for having me. First round. Okay, you